Hey guys, happy, what's today? Today's Tuesday. Whew, it has been a long day to say the least for me. Um, it started at 3 a.m. this morning. I don't know why. I mean, y'all know I get up early because I'm nuts and I like to do a that bad boy in the morning, my elliptical. But uh, yeah, I woke up at 3 and just literally could not go back to sleep. So that's how my day started. Went to work, was uh, super productive, um, but obviously tired. Uh, and then I went and did my demo at Nutrition Depot um, after work until 7. Uh, and then, of course, it was <laughs> leg day. And uh, pfft, you can't skip leg day. Um, so I did that and actually, you know, got in a really solid workout. I'm going to be hurting so bad tomorrow, dude. I go to Species Gym out here in Katy and the equipment that they have there is just seriously on point. Anyhow, the whole point of this is I really was, am exhausted. Like I said, I've been going since three and some days I really do it's glory to God, you guys. I seriously don't know how I do it sometimes. Um, I was tired. I was, you know, off of caffeine. I just literally, that was what saved my life. I didn't want to take a pre-workout because it was so late. So I literally, I powered through this entire day just by the power of my mind. You know, when I would be driving in my car and I would notice I would be getting frustrated or irritated just because, you know, I was tired or hungry or whatever the case may be. I had to make a conscious decision. Was I going to empower those thoughts of exhaustion and grumpiness and a negative attitude? Was I going to allow that to fester and grow? Or was I gonna say, you know what, no, I have a choice and I decide that I'm I'm not gonna be that way. And uh, obviously you guys know me, I went with the latter. Um, and I literally just, I started saying what God says about us. And, you know, I go to Lakewood Church and um, I read a lot of, you know, actually, where's my book? I, I read a lot of Joel's books, which I get a lot of value out of. And it's moments like this where I find myself repeating these, these things that I'm reading and these things that I'm learning because I've never been the religious person. Like, if you've known me for years, like, this is new. If you've been following me, you know this is new to me. And I think it's so cool because I see from my own experience how transformative it is. So, like I said, I was really exhausted. I, felt, I caught myself kind of being in a bad mood, and I started telling myself what God says about us. You know, I am more than a conqueror. I am well equipped for this day. You know, I started giving gratitude and thanks. You know, thank you for my energy. Thank you for my blessings. Thank you for my abundance. Thank you for my health. And the more that I would say these things and, and, and believe them, the more I would find my mood improving. And I, and by the grace of God, made it through the day and had a kick ass workout like I am I'm surprised I made it through and did that well but um you know I just think it's so important that in this day and age when we're pulled in so many different directions and we have so many responsibilities whether that be you know you've got a, a huge project at work or you know your husband or your boyfriend or your kids or whatever the hundred excuse me million things that life throws our way we have a choice to be happy or let it stress us out and be overwhelmed. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to be stressed out. I don't know if y'all know, but uh, stress time is so good for your body. So the more that we can live happily and share uh, our passions and be joyful, the better that we all are. So just wanted to take that minute out to kind of um, share that enlightenment that I had. Uh, I'm going to take a shower and take my butt to bed because I uh, tired. So I will chat with you guys later. I hope you have a great night. Um, I am doing another demo tomorrow at the uh, Nutrition Depot off of Bunker Hill from 4 to 7. So if you need anything and you're in Houston, come stop by and say hey. So talk to you guys later. Bye.